So the next thing we're covering is tool tips. The best way to describe a tool tip is to just show you how it works. So I have a simple script here. I'm just gonna press F5. Oh, it went for a second and then died. So don't worry about this part right here. That's just a pause, we'll cover that later. But now you see tool tip popped up. It says, hey YouTube. I just wanna point out if you guys notice this little window down here at the bottom. This is basically going to tell you what's happening with your code as you're executing it. If you have an error, the error message is going to pop up. If you see it says exit with code zero, that means there was no problems. So tooltips are a great way to keep you updated on your program. And I use tooltips a lot to look for errors. So if my code isn't working right, I'll add a bunch of tooltips where I think a problem could exist, like error, possible error one, possible error two, possible error three. And then I'll run the program and whichever one is likely turning out to be the error, we'll throw a tooltip saying like possible error two. And I'm like, okay, well, what's going on in error two? Um, so as you saw, when I ran this, the tooltip was right in the middle of the screen. When you type your string out at the end of the quote, you could put a comma and now the coordinates. I usually just do it in zero comma zero, which is gonna be the top left corner. If we run that, you'll see it says, hey YouTube, right up here in the top left. Uh, to, make a uh, to make a tool tip, I kind of started this video with it already. All you do is type the word tool tip and put a open parenthesis. And you can see this message pops up asking what kind of text you want, you know, the commas and all that stuff. So, you know, we could do again, hey YouTube and put a comma, zero comma zero and there to go, it will work. You can also have a variable be your tooltip. So let's say message equals hey YouTube. There we go. And now I can get rid of this and change it to message and it would still run exactly the same. Just like using strings, we can compound multiple messages together uh, with the and sign. So let's make a message, another message, message two equals, this is a tutorial. Now we're gonna end that. And then at the end of this, we just put the and, and then message two, run it. And I have an error. Oh, derp, there we go. And you see, this is a YouTube tutorial. I'm gonna move this down to, uh, to the cursor so you can actually read it. And you can see now that it combined them.